I'm Dr. Yancey from Georgia Vision Institute in Carrollton, Georgia, and these are the four words that I received as a text message one night while a resident at the Medical College of Georgia. The text simply read, fish hook in eye. The first thing I noticed was how that barb was laced through the actual fibers of the iris. Actually, I'd be lying if I told you that because the first thing I noticed was this little guy still hanging out on the end of the fish hook. We went straight to the OR where the first order of business was to actually remove the worm from the hook and get started on removing the hook safely. There's a lot of boring footage of me attempting to remove the hook from the iris and we'll just skip straight over that and pretend like all of this happened really quickly. I managed to spare at least a good bit of that iris and we realized that we would have to open the wound to remove the hook because of its barbed shape. Once the wound was enlarged, the hook was able to slide out pretty easily. The iris was returned to the eye with a little bit of encouragement from the Connor wand and some viscoelastic, and I was pretty pleasantly surprised with how round the iris became. It was a stellate wound, so we did decide to close with a horizontal mattress suture to achieve a Seidel negative result. And then the biggest project was figuring out what antibiotics we should put this patient on. Thankfully, the end result of this surgery was excellent. The patient did not have any infection and underwent subsequent cataract surgery for traumatic cataract removal later and resulted in 2030 vision after full recovery. Thank you for watching the footage of one of my favorite open globe repairs.